So you finally decided to read that omnibus that's been sitting on your shelf for ages, or you're revisiting an old classic for the tenth time, but suddenly, you start to hear an alarming crackling noise while you're flipping through the pages. You take a look at the binding only to see this. Your book is falling apart on you. Well, this is exactly what happened to me when I was reading my Spider-Gwen omnibus. So today I want to show you how I was able to fix the binding and go from that to this. Including the materials you'll need, walking you through the repair process itself, and a showcase of the results, and hopefully that can help you in case you find yourself in a similar situation. So let's take a look at some things you'll need to do this. Well, first of all, you're going to want to lay down some tarp in your working area, whether that's some old craft projects tarp, or in my case, what I used was an old beat up shower curtain, just something to protect your working area because we're going to be working with glue and you don't want to make a mess and get glue everywhere. Speaking of glue, you're going to want to pick up some non-acidic PVA book binding glue. It is very important that you use the right type of glue because book binding glue will dry clear, it'll remain flexible after it dries, and it's non-acidic so it won't damage your book. If you use the wrong type of glue, you're going to regret it. You will also need some type of applicator brush to apply the glue. Some glues actually come with an applicator brush themselves, but in my case, I just used an old artist brush and that was good enough for me. You're going to want to prepare some paper towel or a rag of some kind just to clean up any potential messes and more importantly to wipe away any excess glue once we're towards the end. And lastly, you will want to prepare some piece of scrap cardboard or something along those lines that you can use as a makeshift palette onto which you'll be pouring your glue because you don't want to be pouring the glue directly onto the book. In my case, I just used an old flattened cereal box. But now that you have everything you need, it's time to get started with the repair process itself. So go ahead and open your book up flat on the table, grab your PVA glue, and start to pour a small amount of the glue onto the cardboard. I say start with a small amount, about the size of a quarter, just to sort of get used to it, and then you can always add more as you go. And you're probably going to, because you'll definitely want to use a decent amount of glue overall during your repair. Now, grab your applicator brush and begin applying glue inside the binding of the book, right between the page block and the old glue layer. So if we zoom in here, you can see I'm applying glue right underneath the pages, but on top of the old glue. Please make sure you apply the glue in the correct spot. Do not glue your outer spine to your inner spine, otherwise you will be cursing my name for decades to come. Now depending on how bad the damage is to your binding, you may only need a small amount of glue, or you may need to apply it along the entire length of the spine. You can make that judgment accordingly based on your situation. And once again, do not be shy with the amount of glue you're using inside the book. Obviously, you don't want to overdo it, but you'll definitely want a decent amount of glue in there so that it can properly grip onto those pages and attach them to the binding. Once you're done applying the glue, go grab that paper towel or rag and wipe away some of that excess glue, but not too much. Just enough so that it doesn't leak out and cause your pages to stick together, but you still want to leave a decent amount of glue in there. Now you're going to want to close your book, place it on your shelf spine side down, and put pressure on both sides. Keep in mind that some more glue might leak out at this point due to the weight of the pages, so you may need to wipe away a little bit more excess glue. Now you're going to want to leave the book alone for at least 24 hours, but it's good if you can do it a little bit longer in my opinion, just to give the glue time to dry and properly cure. One day later. Now, once the glue is dried and cured, it's time to take it off your shelf again, carefully open it up, and stretch the spine. Because this is fresh glue, you'll want to be pretty slow and delicate with this stretching. Now, 
Now once you're done stretching, it's time to examine the results, and if all went well, the eye should be looking much, much better, as you can see. But there you go guys, that's really all you need to know. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. I'm by no means an expert on this stuff, but hopefully you found it helpful and now you're able to repair your own books. If so, feel free to leave a like, and if you're new here you can check out some of my other videos. I do lots and lots of omnibus reviews on this channel. But until next time guys, you keep reading. See ya.